This is a very interesting problem and let's try to identify functions from the graph. So these are three different graphs here. So it says on the graph are shown the position function, velocity function and acceleration function of an object. Identify each curve and explain your reasoning. Okay. So we have position, velocity and acceleration. So how are they related? So let's first look into their relation. Let's say the position and velocity are related with rate of change of position is velocity. Is that okay? So, so we say, so that is what related. So what is velocity? So velocity is, so we have velocity as rate of change of position, right? And what is acceleration? So acceleration is rate of change of velocity, right? So that is the kind of relation we have. So we have three graphs here. So first we have to try to find one whose rate of change is represented by the other. So best way to find is to look for tangent line with slope of zero. And the tangent line with slope of zero is normally at, is at the turning point. So when we go forward here, then we see on B there is one here, right, turning point. So at this turning point, if I draw a tangent line, then the slope will be zero. That means rate of change is zero. So the function, which is rate of change of this, will have a zero here. So if we come down here, we get one point. That means this function, which is C for us, that means C is rate of change of B. Do you see that? So we say C is rate of change of B. Is that okay? Well, so we got one relation here. Now, so this is our C, right? Now, if you go to C, we have a rate of change here, right? Now, C turns like this, and here is a zero. Do we have a graph with this zero? Yes, we have this. And then also at C, as it turns here, we have a rate of change here, and we have a zero here also, correct? And there it is becoming zero, like flattening out, and that also matches. So, so, so A, so, so rate of change of C is represented by A. So A is rate of change of B, is that okay? Uh, C, sorry. So A is rate of change of C. Let's check A also. A has a zero here, so let me use a different ink here. A has a zero here, but there is uh, no zero for any curve at this point. Do you see that? So that means uh, A is, uh, should be acceleration, right? So now we can correlate our answers. So we say C is rate of change of B and A is rate of change of C. That means what? So velocity is rate of change of position and acceleration is rate of change of velocity, right? So from here straight away we get, if we assume C as the velocity, does it make sense? We write C as velocity, right? So velocity is rate of change of position and uh, this is acceleration for us, is rate of change of velocity, it makes sense, right? So we have that C represents velocity for us, and B represents position for us, and A represents acceleration for us. Okay, so that's the explanation to find out which graph represents what. And the best points always are the turning points. Because at the turning points, tangent is zero, slope of the tangent line is zero, and so we can check on the other graph, do we have a zero? Yes, we do. So they are related, okay? I hope that helps. Thanks.